Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the They're waiting for you in hell! Then it just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. Let's get out of here. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. So sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. Uh, we need a new moderator. You there! Yeah! yeah. Get out. Wait. Thank you for volunteering. My downtrodden brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. Mr. Dent. Thank you. Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Bruce, Mayor finally, Dent was sworn a friendly face. Says he's still being held for observation. Meanwhile, it's good to see you. Oh, congratulations, Mayor Dent. How does it feel? Oh, it'd feel better if I were out of here. I'm ready to get back into it. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary. Ugh, every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Maybe she just saw me being a coward. Yeah, she's probably just busy, hasn't had a chance to come by yet. You'll hear from her. <laughs> Easy for you to be optimistic about women. Pretty sure no one ever loses Bruce Wayne's number. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. I couldn't do anything. Batman was the one who stepped up. I mean, he's the reason I'm sitting here. Hey, thanks. What they did to Hill, to the moderator... I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. Batman stopped them from killing you the other night, but they will try again. I won't hide from them, Bruce. The tonight's speech, they'll know where I stand. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. She wants me to take it easy, to go slow. I mean, that's impossible, right? I'm not gonna be able to take it easy. 
You have to listen to your therapist, Harvey. That, that should be obvious. No, I know. I know. But sitting here, this isn't doing me any good. Honestly, I'm fine. Besides, I know I'm not the only one dealing with the fallout from that debate. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Harvey, don't. You should talk about it. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot. Hill admitting to having both of them killed. It's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. Oswald and I were best friends when we were kids. I knew his mother. Talk to her. Look, I, uh, I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign, I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. Thanks, Harvey. I appreciate that. I'll make it up to you. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? <laughs> My assistant won't be here for another hour. It's, uh, it's Alfred. What, is he okay? Yeah, 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 he just needs to talk to me. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. You keep your head up, Harvey. Thanks, Bruce. Unit 6 in pursuit of suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I'm just glad I got your attention. And I didn't have a lot of options. So, here we are. Not a bad idea. I'm impressed. I have good ones every now and then. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce, just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Rene Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me? I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that junk. I'll find her. We'll take down the children of Arkham together. That's what I like to hear. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I, mean, I never heard of them before. And that debate... Never mind how this began. We have to focus on ending it. If you've got any bright ideas how to do that, I'm all ears. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? A friend who can help us. That friend got a name? All right, patching you through to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. 
The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance, but seeing how you use them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls. Nice work. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? He'll probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. Okay, it's decision time. So we can go over and save Rene Montoya, who's gone rogue, gone off on her own across the bridge into Arkham Island to intercept the handoff and got herself into danger. Or we can go after Harvey Dent, who's discharged himself from hospital and is possibly on his way to his acceptance speech. We can't be in two places at once, but let's listen in before we make our decision. Barrels of this stuff to transfer. And not a big window to unload all of that. They said they wanted it done tonight, so it's got to be done. You want to argue with them? Be my guest. You just keep an eye out for that cop. Nobody move! This is the police! Dinner! What do you keep looking at? That car's been behind us since the hospital. Oh God, is this guy trying to drive us off the road? Just drive faster. Oh, what the? Oh, damn it! Okay, I think here we're going to go ahead and save Rene Montoya. We need all the police officers in Gotham we can get right now as they're stretched very thin. Any other available resources, if we have any, can be put into saving Dent. So that's my decision. Headed to the construction site. Send whatever men you can spare after Dent. I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. Unit 6, requesting backup. Corner of 15th and Main. We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose. It's over. Drop the gun. Look, I promise I'm not gonna shoot you, okay? I used to think you were a threat, but I was wrong. We both have much bigger problems right now. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Those guys had me pinned down. It's okay. It's in the past. I forgive you. Thank you. It means a lot coming from you. I don't know what I was thinking coming out here alone. I nearly blew it. I could be dead. Or you could be dead. And it'd be on me. Good instincts, but you need to think things through. Be patient. Don't rush. I may not be there to save you next time. Yeah, I owe you big for this one. I still don't understand how they knew I was coming. Heads up. The cops just sent three black and whites to stop our guys going after Dent. And the chatter sounds like Gordon's with them. Someone's got to help Gordon. They know he's coming. Go. I'll see what I can find here. I'm not giving up on this. Alfred. Are you all right? Yeah, but they knew I was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. 
I need an update on Harvey. Bringing it up now. Deborah, get down! <gasps> Mr. Dent, what did you do to him? I said get back in the car! There's more of them coming! Put down your weapon! There's too many of them! Everybody take cover! You'd better get down there. On my way. Self-defense, he says. New mayor's pretty tough, turns out. Killed one of those guys attacking him with his bare hands. Dent did that? Guess the fellow's lucky Dent got to him before you did, huh? You have something to say, then say it. We all know how you operate. You've been trying this nice guy routine lately, but I don't buy it for a second. At least this one died quick. We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to, to command. command. Anyone, Anyone there? there? Command, command here. here. What is what it, is Gordon? Gordon? Turn that off. What? what? It's been compromised. The children of Arkham are listening in on the GCPD's communications. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. Bruce? The GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred. I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate... <sighs> I'm not sure of anything right now, but Lucius will have answers. I have a feeling we've only seen the tip of the iceberg. Hopefully it doesn't sink us, sir. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? It's a tough one, but I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. <laughs> Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. Yeah, I, uh, I miss them too. Both of them. I know. Every day, I wish a father was still with us. He was wise beyond his years. And Martha, she was such a delight to have around. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... I know it must seem like the whole world is turning against you, but I'm not. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now. 
I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce. You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. I appreciate the sentiment, Regina. Thank you. I mean what I said before. Families like ours need to flock together. Perhaps now, more than ever. I should head down. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. Good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. You can't afford to lose their resources. I'd like to be optimistic, but from where I'm sitting it doesn't look good. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a backdoor into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into the system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Well, no shortage of bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. Well, you see this back door they're using? I built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. <laughs> I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. When the cops raided the manor, they seized every computer belonging to Wayne Enterprises. Mayor Hill must have given them to the children of Arkham. Trying to save himself, I'm sure. I'm gonna keep working on this children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. Alright, looks like there's a few things we can do while we're here, so let's check it all out. Watch the news. What's up next? Staggering a bit. Now it's come back. Okay. That was weird. Examine the drone. Photograph. Let's check out the photo. Oh, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become. And I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. 
He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. Well, oh, interesting. Okay, what's on the whiteboard? Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Alright. The drone's on the table, we can inspect that. What's around the other side? We got anything? A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. New gadget acquired. We got the remote sticky bomb. While we're here, let's check out the drone as well. It's only right. We might as well look at what we're going to work with now or later in the future. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Thermal vision. <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selena. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. I highly doubt that, Lucius. I'm sure she stole a lot more than just that grapple gun. Alright, so what was the point of looking at the battering? I don't think there's anything else to do in here. I think we've found everything there is in this area. The only thing there is, is over there to watch the news. But Lucius is working there, so we'll just look at the table instead. I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. Guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me, it was much more paranoia than precaution. Looks like something under the table, though. If you can see where the table is, there's that flooring underneath it. So I think the table's going to go under the floor somehow. What does it do? Oh, hide gadgets. Oh, so all it does is put the table under the floor. So everything on the table is hidden. Nobody knows anything about it. All right. Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do... Here. Get that back to the bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Maybe you left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. I get it. My name isn't great for business lately. I'm sorry, Bruce. It's not your fault. I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. 
Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine, Cobblepot sits easier on the tongue. Don't be like that, Bruce. It's for the best. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Right, Bruce. Well then. I'll help you out with that. Mm. Looks broken, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. This way, Bruce. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. It happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I... I don't know. Lucius... I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. Thanks, Lucius. Keep that drive safe. <laughs>